All right, this is second grade, module four, lesson 17, where we are going to be using mental strategies to understand that concept that of like 10 tens equals 100 or 10 ones equals 110. And basically what we're talking about is, oh, let's say we have a, a, a place value chart. Here's our ones and our tens. Now, we know that if you have ten ones, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you have ten ones, and I'm going to label these as ten ones, that those ten ones can be cashed in to equal a single ten. All right, and what that would look like in our place value chart is that would look like, okay, so we're going to get 10 ones, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now these 10 ones can be cashed in to equal a single dot in the 10 tens column. So these 10 here would be cashed in for 1 in the tens column. Now similarly, we can do the same concept with the tens. That if you had 10 tens, that they could be cashed in for 100. So let's show that. So like if, let's do another place value chart. So here's our ones. Here's our tens, here's our hundreds. And if we have 10 tens, so that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So those 10 tens can be cashed in, and you can exchange those 10 tens for 100. So these 10 would go away because you've cashed them in for a single dot in the hundreds column. That's kind of like saying, oh, we're going to take 10 dimes and exchange it for a dollar bill. That's kind of like 10, hundred, 10 tens equals 100. So on this lesson, I, I really, as, as if you're a teacher or you're a parent, don't freak out if our students are having a hard time with this mentally. The concept itself of all of this stuff is super important, but if they don't learn it during this specific lesson, it's okay. Um, just go with the flow, do your best with your students, and then move on to the next lesson. And ultimately, over the next several lessons, they will get this concept. Now, let's let's do some little practice. So we've got two ones and eight ones. Now I'm going to put, that's equal to ten ones, but ten ones is equal to ten. Now I think actually they want us to just label it ten, uh, but I'm going to specifically label it ten ones. I'm going to keep this label here and then throw in the extra answer right here. So two tens plus eight tens is going to equal ten tens, but ten tens is equal to 100. So really, that's equal to 100. All right, so let's do uh, five ones plus six ones. So that's going to equal 11 ones, which is equal to 11. Um, and then we've got five tens plus six tens. So that's going to equal... Oh, let's do it in green. That's going to equal 11 tens. Now you're going to think about your chart, and 11 tens equals 100, 110, and 0 ones. And if you don't know what that means, I'm going to scroll down, and let's, let's take a second and look at that. So here's my place value chart. Here's my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. And 11 tens is going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
All right, now we've learned that if you have 10 of any number in a column, you can cache those in for a single dot in the next column to the left. So what used to be 11 tens now equals 1 in the hundreds column, 1 in the tens column, and 0 in the ones column. So there's our 1 in the hundreds column, our 1 in the tens column, and nothing in the ones column. So the answer is 110. So 11, 11 tens is equal to 110. And we're going to skip this next problem for the sake of time. All right, well, let's keep going on this. And so we've got six ones plus five ones. So we know that we can take five ones from the six plus the five ones over here, and that's going to give us one ten plus one one. So that's 11. Similarly, six tens plus five tens. So we can take five tens from the six plus these five tens, so five tens plus five tens, that equals 100, plus we're going to have one ten left over. That's kind of like the problem just prior. That's 110. Oh, let's do these last two. We could do that. It's not so hard. All right, so five ones plus seven ones. Well, we could take five ones, I mean, uh, yeah, five ones from the seven plus five ones over here, so 5 and 5, that's going to give us 10. So that's going to give us 1, 10, plus we're going to have two ones left over. And that's 12. Similarly, 5 of these 10s plus these 5 10s equals 100, plus we're going to have two 10s left over. So the answer is 120. If you're a teacher or you're a parent, Boy, you should be pausing throughout this video to give your students some time to think about what it is I'm doing. You may even want to um, go down here and on a piece of paper, you may want to model this. For example, oh, let's model this problem right here. So five tens is going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 7 tens is going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you can see, okay, well that's 12 tens, but you can see that we can do some cashing in, and you can see that we can cash in these 10 tens. And those 10 tens become 100. So they go away because we've cashed them in for 100. So you end up with 1 in the hundreds column, 2 in the tens column, and 0 in the ones column. And so that's how we, if the students need it, like if they need it, they can't do it m mentally, draw it out. Let the students draw it out using a place value chart and these little number disks. All right, so I chose this problem because I think teachers and parents are pretty unfamiliar with this arrow method concept. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start over here because uh, here's our example. So if you need to, pause and look at that example, but I'm going to start over here with B. So we've got 78 plus 2, and so that's going to give us 80. And then we've got 80 plus 10, so that equals 90, and then we have 90 plus 10, and that equals 100. Now, if we wanted to rewrite this as a number sentence, or as a, an addition sentence, so what did we do? Well, we added 2, 10, and 10. So we added 22. So 78 plus 22 equals 100. Now the idea of this is this is helping students develop mental math ability, these mental skills, and the arrow method is kind of a famous technique for doing so. Let's practice one last one with the arrow method. So we're going to do 
let's see, 61 plus 9, so we're going up to the next decade, the next multiple of 10, so that's going to be 70, and then 70 plus 10 gives us 80, and then 80 plus 10 gives us 90, and then 90 plus 10 gives us 100, and then 100 plus 100 gives us 200. So what did we add all together? We added a 9, a 10, a 10, a 10, and a 100. So all together we added 139. So 61 plus 139 equals 200, because it says so right here. And that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 17, using mental strategies to relate 10 tens equaling 100 and 10 ones equaling a 10.